All right, hey YouTube, uh, just sitting here at the office, wanted to do a little video. I've been wanting to do this video on open carry. I get a lot of kind of questions uh, regarding open carry in Georgia and whether, you know, not necessarily asking for my opinion, but then again, uh, bringing up the laws and wanting to know about the laws of open carry and uh, wanting to know whether they could do it on, in parks and stuff like that. And uh, I've answered a lot of those questions, but I always try to tell people uh, that it's not the best idea to open carry. Uh, a lot of people are stubborn and think that it's it's actually going to deter crime and that it's, people aren't going to mess with you because you're carrying a gun. Um, and I'm not saying I'm an expert as far as you know the battle of open carry and concealed carry, but uh, I do appreciate the fact that it's a it's a right and we do have that option. And I don't ever uh, condone getting rid of that right and deleting that option. Because uh, I myself, if I got, you know, my, if it's middle of winter time and I'm wearing my gun on my hip and, you know, I want to run in the store and run back out or run into somewhere, you know, I don't want to have to cover that guy. You know, I, I like to have that option. But I don't uh, necessarily think that it's going to uh, deter crime, stuff like that. And uh, mainly I just wanted to do this video to get my point out there get my opinion out there and also to give you a couple examples I mean uh, just the, some stuff I could think of off the top of my head uh, just sitting here if you're standing in line at the bank you know not to say you know what are the chances of a bank getting wrong while you're there I know but if you're standing in line at the bank and you know you got your gun on your hip and the bank robbers come in catch you off guard you know you're not expecting that and uh, a lot of banks around here don't have security guards but even if they did um, you know, they're of course are going to go after him, and they're going to look around. And they're going to, you know, yell and do all the stuff that that, that you see on the news that they do, and uh, and they're going to see you standing there, open with the darn gun. What are you going to do? Where's your tactical advantage? You just lost it. Um, you're going to reach for your gun. Okay, go ahead. They might shoot you. They might let you get it out uh, and shoot them. Who knows? And congratulations if that does happen, but. Chances are, no, it's not going to happen. Either they're going to they're going to find you and they're going to single you out. You could be at the back of the line. I know there's a lot of variables, but you could be at the back of the line, and uh, they could walk in and directly see your gun right then. And uh, whether or not they're going to shoot you or take it or whatever is, you know, for anything for the birds, I could care less what was going to happen. But you lose that tactical advantage um, based on what we've seen in the news and uh, based on what we. We know about bank robberies, just for one example. Um, we know that they're going to bust in, and uh, from past events, bust in and tell everybody to get on the floor or whatever. You know, it still happens today. I don't care if you say it doesn't, but it does. Uh, we had one not too long ago over here in town. So if I'd have been there and I'd have been open carrying that day, I would either be dead or uh, or I would have. Uh, you know, I would have lost all my tattoo advantage. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out, and uh, I guess if you want to kind of send me a video back on what you think about what I've said, I think that's pretty much basic uh, knowledge and even common sense. Uh, I read a story not too long ago about the guy who lost his, uh, the robber didn't even have a gun. He's coming in to rob the store, saw the guy with the gun, took it from the guy, and uh, I think he even had it in one of those black hole, uh, circle holsters took it from the guy and uh, ended up shooting the guy in the chest as he ran to go get his gun back. It's uh, it's just a mess. It's retarded. I don't condone it. I don't like it. Uh, but I do support the right to open carry. And I do like the fact that Georgia is an open carry friendly state when it comes to having your license. Uh, that's good. If we just had a bunch of dodos running around out here just with guns, it'd be a pain in the butt for the public. It'd be a pain in the butt for law enforcement. Um, and I do support law enforcement. I know they can be a pain sometimes when it comes to stuff, but then again, uh, without them, let them do the open carry, let them be the deterrent, and uh, we just protect ourselves. That's what it's about. And a lot of people will try to come back and say, you know, oh, well, if everybody does it, uh, people will be less likely to commit crime. Well, if everybody carries a gun on their hip, um, it'll be less likely to commit crime. Well, you know, that may be true, to a degree, but I, don't, I still don't think that's going to happen. Uh, just based on, uh, you know, you know 
highway robberies happened all the time a hundred years ago, you know, and who didn't have a gun then? So, uh, or 150 years ago, whatever you want to say. And just back in the old cowboy days, you know, not just basing my stuff, what I, you know, we all know that happened. And, uh, you know, based on my, the stories from my grandpa around here, they didn't travel around Georgia without a gun, you know. And they still got robbed. Everybody knew everybody had a gun. They'd still do stupid stuff. Criminals are stupid. That's the baseline. They'll do anything. I don't think they care if you have a gun or not. If they're addicted to drugs or something, uh, and they see that gun, that might be say, hey, I want that gun. I might come for that gun. I'll sit here and jump you. And uh, whether you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know whether you can get that gun out. You just, there's a million different things that could go wrong. And uh, if I have my gun covered up, he don't know whether it's on my ankle, he don't know whether it's in my pocket, he don't know whether it's on my hip, left, shoulder holster, he don't know. So therefore, I have the advantage. And if he comes to attack me, I know where my gun's at, and I know I can get to it, and I know how to defend myself while I'm trying to get to it. Okay? And, uh, but anyway, I wanted to get that spill out. Um, mainly that was just something that was on my mind, because I really don't... These people, on, I watch these videos all the time, these people who are talking about open care, are just, it don't make much sense to me. So, uh, anyway, I'd love to have your comments back, negative or whatever, I could care less. I just wanted to uh, get this out and tell my viewers what I felt. And uh, so send me the comments or messages, however you want to do it, um, and let me know what you think. I'd love to have video response back to this, and, uh, and I'll be glad to sit there and chat with you one day if you want to. Um, Anyway, I hope everything I said makes sense, and if it doesn't, uh, message me or leave a comment. I appreciate it, and again, thanks for watching. Uh, i got some more videos coming up pretty soon. That EDC in the truck, uh, that was just kind of a quick after thought kind of thing. I wanted to show people that I updated my gun and what I carried in the truck on a slight basis. I know people see that all the time, but I do have, I know I said I was going to stick to um, new products and stuff like that, and products I don't see very often. So last week I went out and bought the uh, Mossberg M590 A1 six shot. I got it out there in the truck now, and um, I have the nine shot version. And I bought the six shot because I looked all over the place on YouTube, and there's very, you know, not real good review. There's no real review on the six shot basic version. Uh, there's a couple videos of somebody shooting like five seconds long. And, just nothing that I could actually see the gun and, and enjoy watching the video on it, except for that one, uh, the TV commercial or the TV show when I saw on there. I can't remember uh, who it was. I think uh, one of the sportsmen's shows. Anyway, uh, American Guardian, I think it was. They did a review on it, but nothing personal. So I'm going to do a review on that. Look forward to that coming out, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.